Hello, hello, and welcome to another edition of Stuff We Like, <laughs> the uh, Gentleman Dog Portrait uh, Podcast uh, Post Show. Yes. Well, that's a that's a mouthful. Uh, no, post was, Show. Yeah, that wasn't a bad show. Uh, it was kind of a weird week for news. Yeah. So I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it was a bad show or anything, but it was like, eh, kind of, it couldn't on. have been that great. I've, I've definitely seen better, weirder news. Yeah. Especially in the places that I check. It's like, oh, well, eh. Nothing crazy, too crazy going on. Yeah. Although, the artificial thing, like with Elon Musk and yeah. Stephen Hawking, like, Elon Musk kind of rose me the wrong way. Um, and he's gotten very, uh, his name's been out there recently, like, yeah. the past well, I remember six seeing, months. I remember seeing one of those Bloomberg specials about him. And he has permanently been etched in my mind as the guy that will willingly liquidate every good idea that he has for SpaceX. I think that he's done that a couple of times. He's been flat broke because he wanted to build a rocket to go to the moon. Mm. And I'm like, I mean, good for you for chasing your dreams and all, but that makes you a crappy businessman. Spaceman. It's, it is pretty cool. That is pretty cool, though. It's, uh... Apparently there's a ton of minerals in in asteroids and stuff that are I can believe that. out there. I can believe that. And it's like the next, like, like how they have deep sea oil drilling now. Like, that's like the next, like, big lucrative uh, <laughs> way to exploit the environment is to, like... But like, it's not our environment, and that's, that's well, what's important. Well, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's just, I guess, exploit the environment sounds bad. But... But, like, it's the next way we're going to, like, you know... It's an environment that no one's actually... It's a, it's a giant friggin' rock. And and now with uh, 3D printing, they're just going to be able to... Let's just print minerals, man. <laughs> no, well... No. <laughs> well, if they have, like, stations up there, you know, instead of having to have a... You know, you can just literally have, like, raw blocks of whatever, plastic or metal. And, yeah, and then you'd be able to make replacement parts. I remember yeah, make, that. make whatever you need as you need it. Yeah, well, that, that's interesting. I've seen a lot of, like, interesting use for 3D printers. I've seen, uh... I'm sure you've seen those lists, like, Oh, man, look at what a 3D printer could do. And I've seen, like, a breathable cast. Okay. Like, I, I've never broken a bone, so I've never known the terrors of having to put a pencil in there to, like, itch your skin. Oh, it feels so good. It's yeah. the worst. It starts to... Casts have come a long way. I broke my arm in kindergarten. But this one, this one has like the giant gaping holes in it, and it just yeah, keeps yeah. like a good skeletal structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, it looks it looks cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, now is now is the perfect time in human history to break your arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, oh, I actually remember something. Uh, last last episode we did this, I kind of had my own gripe with Ed McMillan with Super Meat Boy and we talked about Binding of Isaac yeah you don't like him putting uh, Meat Boy references exactly that was it uh, and everything the day after I had like a weird feeling about that like something was missing and then I remembered he wasn't the guy that I was really uh, mad with for doing that he's done one reference I think I don't remember seeing okay. that in Aether not in Time Fuck not in Spewer although I never really played through Spewer so I don't know um, but I think it would count if he made another game after BOI and he puts in Super Meat Boy there, even as, like, a reference. It's like, okay, we get it. Then um, I won't retract it. Then I'll, like, it's in binding retract of it Isaac. again. It's yeah. in Binding of it Isaac. Is, it is in Binding of Isaac, but that's, like, a giant... That is a giant reference fest. Mm-hmm. Kind of is. Tarot cards, Bible. There's a My Little Pony reference. There's uh, Pac-Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of shit. Uh, Shoop da Whoop. And I thought that was dead. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'll give him credit for that. So but who was if he, it? It was, uh, you know the guys that did Castle Crashers? Yeah. And Battle Block Theater? Uh, the Behemoth. I actually remember, like, this... They will not let us forget that they did Alien Hominid <laughs> on Newgrounds. Uh, it was a playable character and a boss in Castle Crashers. It's an unlockable head in, uh, Battle Block Theater. And if it's in the next game, I swear I will not See, buy it. I mean, maybe it's just that... I understand you're proud of your breakout hit. It's the one that made a name for yourself, but, like, for Christ's sakes, let it go. Like, maybe it's not that they're trying to rub it in your face, but it's just, like, that's their origin. Like, that's... I don't know. Like, that's where they got their break, you know? Yeah, but, like, I mean, Ed McMillan got his breakthrough, uh, Super Meat Boy, and he hasn't rubbed it in our face. He just kept making good games. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's got his own following because of that. Uh, the Behemoth... I think Castle Crashers did a lot better than Alien Hominid, didn't it? 
Alien Hominid was just like a Flash game. Yeah. Castle Crashers is kind of a... It's, it's made a name for itself. And Battle yeah. Block Theater, maybe not as much, but it's certainly a lot more fun. Yeah, I wish I could... Although, play. you can wholeheartedly <laughs> blame that on Stamper. Holy crap, Stamper is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the uh, trailers were so good for it. <laughs> I keep listening really to the I Battle I, Block Theater. Uh, uh, I I listen to I listen to YouTube a lot at work. It's and, like a nineteen tens announcer. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes and sometimes I just put on Battle Block. I put on all the cutscenes, and it is hilarious. <laughs> really is. Even if I've known everything that he's going to say, doesn't matter. I want to hear him say it. Like, what? I feel like that would be like if I'm. Let's say I make a uh, sandwich quest. My uh, pie. Oh, the, I want my I pie want, in the sky game idea. I need sandwich quest to happen. That sounds hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to go crazy, crazy talking about sandwich quest, but just just imagine that. Uh, Especially since we do have something that we want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, imagine you're a, you're a uh, <laughs> an apprentice to a great and powerful wizard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who requests Start standards enough? Who requests? Uh, a sandwich. <laughs> so that so that's your job is to uh, assemble and gather. That's your quest to gather the components of a sandwich for a wizard. And uh, anyway, so if that was my like game that I made and became popular, the next like I would put a sandwich in every game I made. That would be well, like, that's my calling enough, you know? card. You know, well that that would be like that would be plain enough. But I think if you just bring it back. To sandwich quest every time, like I think I think your fan I think your fans would get pissed off. It would be like, why the hell are you doing this? It's not funny. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't be a. Uh, it wouldn't be. It would. It wouldn't be obtrusive. It would just be like a. You know, small little Easter egg, nod. Well, that in I can the corner. Well, that I can understand, but eh. maybe in a hidden area. I don't know the way, well, the way that the behemoth does it. It's just like. It's very in your face about it sometimes. Uh-huh. And like the second I saw Alien Hominid is like a head. And I know you have to fill up like hundreds of heads for your to customize your character. It just turned into like I don't know, seeing that just kinda like awoke something in me that shouldn't have been awoken. Yeah. So I don't want to see that happen in the next game, although then again, it's just one person refusing to buy it. What's going to happen? Mm-hmm. I bought Battle Block Theater with a drop of a hat. The second I heard about it, I'm like, okay, all right, gotta get it now. Uh, <laughs> my title in my clan once was uh, Hattie Haddington. <laughs> more hats. More hats. <laughs> increase Needs more hats. Increase hats. Uh, but we do have something that we want to talk about today. Um, seeing as how I guess a good chunk of the post show is basically Kingdom of Loathing. Yeah. So we've reached that part in our. Uh, our post-show people. So if you're just kind of like listening to this idly and you have no idea what Kingdom of Loathing is, A, read up about it and uh, get back to us. And B, if you don't want to do that, just stop. <laughs> Go ahead. We'll be here next week. <laughs> so uh, let me just, before we, let me just ask you, what's, how's your week in Kingdom of Loathing? What's going on with you? Uh, I finished, I finished my Steel Clubber run. Okay. Uh, I got the police baton. Okay. Porcelain police baton. <laughs> yeah. That's that's funny to me, and I actually love I actually love how uh, I know I think we talked about this in the previous one that the pieces of equipment in the new yearly outfits like they respond to specific class things like it's not just a straight up bonus it's now oh well now this spell now has physical damage when you do it like oh that's yeah. nice everyone has every one your of smacks them. restore magic points I'm like okay that's useful I think it's. It's I like it because it's not um it's not like plus twenty muscle four seal clubbers only or something, right? Yeah, you got a point. It doesn't have point. that restriction. It's like it gives you some some good stats, but then it also has like a like if you are a seal club or or like if you do use a smack, like it restores mana. Yeah, you know? and it's like it's one of those things like you wouldn't be doing it unless you were a seal clubber anyway. So. Or if, I think if, but I think you can still perm like if you perm the skill and use a smack. Yeah, but odds are if you're like a, a mist class or something, you yeah. wouldn't be you wouldn't be doing a smack. Yeah. So the police baton is kind of worthless to you. Mm-hmm. But if you were like a turtle tamer, let's say, then it's like okay, well, I'd that be would interesting to see the full outfit, especially. If you do have a lot of stuff permed, it'd probably be a pretty cool outfit. I don't well, know. Some people already have it. Yeah. I know someone on our clan already has it. I think Dan? Yeah. I don't know. Some, some One of those people 
Mm -hmm. uh, already had it, and I saw the tattoo and the full outfit avatar, and I'm like, oh, that's... Huh. (laughs) I've got... That takes a lot of dedication to do uh, runs back-to-back like that. I did two Seal Clubber runs, hardcore and softcore, for it, and I I did one... I'm in my second Postamancer run, so I'm about to be a third done with the yearly uh, outfits. Uh, I have the uh, Pepper Mill from the Sorcerer, and I have the Police Baton now, so I'm a third done. Nice. Um, it's about to be my uh, three-year anniversary in the game <laughs> this coming Weakling. week. Weakling. Uh, uh, it's going to be eighth for me. Oh, yeah. I started in 2007. Yeah. I have my account since 2007, I should say. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wait around a bit. i got to get my stats up to 200. I want to take out some dread bosses. That's going to be a thing for me. I finally actually got... Uh, the Kiwi Teeny and the a couple of Dread uh, Shepherd Pies. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm going to like do a couple of those. I am, get a trophy maybe. I got I got my I got my tour guide trophy for ten ninety percent or more familiar runs. Not bad. So I'm like a third of the way done with the bigger one, the bigger trophy where you have to have thirty. Uh, and I know I know Ackerson Ackerson. Yeah. Well. Let's, he's, let's about settle to get this that, he's about to get that trophy too. Let's yeah. uh, let's settle this right now. Akerson or Ackerson? Ackerson. Ackerson. Hundred percent. All right, fine. We'll go with that. Uh, I know Ackerson's been like riding our tails for uh, trophy collecting. Yeah. So that's going to be. I got. I got to maintain my lead. He's got the gyro trophy. I'm like that. That's, that cost has, you like. He has some crazy ones, but that talk that costs you like twenty bucks real money. I mean, I feel like the spelunky, the spelunker trophies, and. The KOLHS trophies and the um, Way of the Surprising Fist trophies. Like, those are all trophies that aren't crazy for me to get. I just have to get them. Yeah, exactly. I'm about to do the... Um, I've held off on the Spelunky I'm ones, I'm about to actually. get another wanna... trophy this round. I won't talk about Because, like, I, I know everyone's excited about, like, the Spelunky content. Just wait. But, yeah, just wait. Like, just wait Grimstone six months, masks last three months. year. Grimstone last, last year, they cost, like, an absurd amount in the beginning. And it, then, like, it by the time ta- March came around... sharply tapers off, yeah. Yeah, and then March came around, and they were, like, 5,000 meat. Like, there's, there's nothing. Any speculations on the new path coming out? February 15th. I am holding path. out for Avatar Susie. I it's, want that to be a thing. It's the, um... It's the... My... I think my... No, I don't know if it was the 13th. No, I, I think I started on the 13th. The 13th? It was right before or after Valentine's Day. But anyway... I am, this time I'm finally, I'm going to finish this run. I just started a run. I'm going to finish it and just hang around. And the day that the path starts, I am going to start. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be doing a contest. that. Uh, it's the first time I'm going to jump into a path like someone right Someone wants away. to do a, uh, a picky run. Right. Someone wants to do a picky contest uh, in our clan. And I'm like, okay, well, that's the day the uh, new path comes out. I normally wait anyway. Mm-hmm. So I'm not terribly broken up about it. I've just always probably been in the middle of another run or something. So yeah, well, I, I think well now we actually have enough meat. We could like buy a uh, Mister Accessory and have like the clan rent out thing. You know, mm-hmm. like that'll be nice if he decide if the powers that be decide to make the next item of the month uh, Avatar Susie related. Holding out for that. That's got to be the thing. Well, the. <sighs> Do they usually... I think it's like two months after. Like, I think it would be released in April, if, if anything. It's released later, right? Because, like, uh, Heavy Rains. Because um... the paths always come out on the 15th, so it's never, like, the item of the what month. month. What month did Heavy Rains come out? Uh, s- September? September. Okay, what was, the, what was the item and of the month then? The item of the month of September, I think, was Thor's Pliers. No, that was. I think that was. Was October. that November? I think that was October o- or November. <laughs> November, I think, was the fist turkey. You're right. November was the fist turkey. So October was the Thor's pliers. So heavy rains started in August, I think. God, we're a anyway, bunch of hacks. Seriously, I'm gonna look this up while we. You look move this up, from... uh, but you look this up. Please interject. Uh, but thing we want to talk about is the new item of the month. And now that's actually been out for a couple of days, so it's still fresh. Love bugs. Right. Love bugs. I don't know anyone that actually has these. I've seen some people talk about how they love how they love the love, the love bugs. bugs. Yeah, I've heard some people like, oh my god, oh this is so awesome gosh. now. Uh they seem 
what to me as a as a person that's if it, is it going to be worth or not i mean it's like the florist fryer i think where it doesn't replace like there's it's not it like replace it's not like where i'm going to say hmm am i going to use pansgiving or greatest american you know am i going to use a uh, is, it, is am I going to put this thing in this slot or that thing? Am I going to use this familiar or that familiar? Yeah, because it doesn't. Mentioned, and originally when I saw it, I thought it was going to be like a replacement for Mayfly bait. Like, am I am I going to use uh, the this Eudora item or that one? So, so this is like, it doesn't replace anything or it take adds to it or like displace anything. Yeah, so it's just it's just going to make even if the advantage is like even if you got a it's like saying I'm going to release a passive skill that gives you plus one HP. Like that's that's just. Even if it's slightly, slightly better, it's and people seem to. It's not just slightly, slightly better. It's a nice item. It seems like. Yeah, but the my gripe about it is it just it's a nice item. It certainly doesn't replace anything, but it just seems so minute that I don't think it's going to do anything for me. You know what I mean? Like, okay, it restores some hit points after a battle. Okay, it gives you some substats. All right, it might boost whatever plus item you get after a fight. Mm-hmm. Oh, it, 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 repl- it doesn't let you... It doesn't make you go to the Oasis when you're uh, crossing through the desert. Like, all right, these are all, like, minor things. There's no one thing wow. about it that's, like, I need to get this. It's a collection of it. That, like, yeah, yeah. Some of, the, some of the parts is greater than the whole or something. And I... And but, that's... like, I'm I'm still thinking about it like that. I'm still mm. thinking, like, okay, well, it just gives me some substats after a while. Big friggin' whoop. I think it's good. <laughs> I'm probably going to get it. I don't think I am. I'm probably going to try and get it at the end of the month. It's like how um, it's like how people were talking about the uh, Chateau Mantega. Did you get that? I did not. I have it. I just re- I got it right at the last minute. I I think it's great. I I can't I can't have, I You know can't what do it, it. you know what it is? It's just that it's a replacement for your campground. Well, to me, I think that one of the best utilities is that it lets you copy a monster and retain that copy through ascensions. Yeah. That's pretty powerful. So you can get, like, a well, lobster repl- frogman and just keep it there. Well, it replaces faxing, uh, but truth be told, I've actually done a couple of uh, runs now where I couldn't fax. Right. And no, Yeah, I've done a lot where I, can, I haven't been able to fax. And it's gotten to the point where I'm like, okay, well... Everything I after rain. I guess then, I don't yeah. need it now. I guess I've kind of outgrown facts. Uh, I know some people are like, it's essential to speed running, and it is. It speeds you up a lot. Yeah, I, I but think But if that... I use it for Lobster Frogman, then it's like, okay, mm. well, I waste maybe like, I don't know, 10 adventures now, finding one. Yeah, now that I have the... I copy it with a reanimator, uh, and then that's it. Mm-hmm. Now that I have the, uh, some plus monster, uh, monster attraction, some plus combat, I guess, mm. not, it's, it's become more feasible for me to do... The lobster frogman for real, but I could see like now that it's it's just different now that keys are consumable. That once you, oh yeah, that's a thing now. Well, and... now now it makes me wonder. Um, once Game Informer has been T sixty nine, is that is that going to happen next year or has that already happened? I'm not sure. I don't have the Game Informer uh, uh, myself, so I'm... well, look it up. Look it up. Uh, when's that going to be 260? When did that come out? Oh, by uh, the way... Um, because now, once that goes out, there's no way for anyone to do a two-day run. Conspiracy Island, the spooky Conspiracy Island, was October. It's item of the month. Oh, shit. And so... Thor's Pliers was September. So Thor's Pliers came out, and then the 15th was the path change. So that's what I'm saying. Like, Okay, so it started in August... And then we, like, played for, with it for, like, two weeks, and then the uh, Thor's Pliers came out? Yeah. Okay. All right, so that, I guess that makes sense. So I guess we would see something relating to it in March. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Next, that it's going to be... Susie's Turtle Taming like Whip. three weeks or whatever, or two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Susie's Personal Podium. I don't know, man. You think it's going to really be Susie? I, I want Has anyone it so said bad. anything about it? Well, who else would there be an avatar? Do you think they would do you think they would break that trend? Well, what's going to happen after Susie or the, when the next avatar path has to happen? I don't think they could just keep doing avatar paths. Avatar infinitely. of the old man. It, avatar of the meatsmith. It it might just be like, yeah, Avatar I, of I the hermit. It's possible they could do it, but I don't know. They might just come out with a totally new avatar thing. Avatar of King Ralph. And you just spend the entire ascension. You spend the entire run trying to break out of the prism. 
<laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I, it's going to be interesting the, to see. When the only way you would be able to get out is you have to wait for someone else. It's tied to someone else's account to break the prism. And it just so happens this is that one asshole that's going for the level 30 trophy. So you ain't getting out of there for like a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do, I do want to see like a joke ascension. I want a new path to come out on April first. Okay. And I want it to be like, uh, I want it to be like a really jokey avatar. I want it to be Avatar the Naughty Sorceress. And then you wake up, and it's immediately you getting crushed by another adventurer. You spend one adventure, and that's it. <laughs> and you go back to the pale, and you like you didn't get any karma, so you essentially reset. I would, I would like to see them. See, I th- it would be too much work for them, but I would like to like so far the greatest, most drastic changes we've seen in a pa- in a challenge path are like, um, where all of your skills, all the normal typical skills and classes are removed, and you're a new special class with new special skills, which is pretty cool. But like, like you're in the same world, you know? Okay, well that's that's the avatars, that's Zombie Slayer, and that's. Wait, could you use your regular skills in Zombie Slayer? No. I don't... Well, I don't know. I don't remember. I just did a Zombie Slayer run, too. I don't... No, you had your own skill tree. I'm pretty sure. Okay, because I know that's... I know that's the avatars. Yeah, you don't get... You don't, you don't get to keep your skills. But but it's also, like... Like, that's cool. And that's making things a like... Person. That's cool. Things like Bees Hate You. Where, you know, things where there's, like, wandering monsters, heavy rains. It, it like... It modifies the environment, but you're never in a completely new environment. Mm-hmm. You're always in the same sort of quest thing and the same third, you know, whatever twelve quests and and so like I would like to see them, you know, like if say you are the king in the prison and like you're <laughs> in your mind and like you you're like uh, you know in this whole other world. Like they 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 do unlockable content. They do these little additional content things. Yeah. Like, exactly. you use the the mushroom, and, and you end up um, having this flashback into this foggy, you know, the magenta fog, or the violet fog. Yeah, uh, no, that was a... Uh, or... Yeah, that was the astral mushroom, yeah. And I remember that. Yeah. Stuff like that is cool, but there's not... There has not been a run like that, which I don't think they'll ever do. I don't know. Well, no, it would... It would it, you're right, it would take a lot of work. It would basically remove the quest that they do. Because it's one thing to it's one thing to put a couple zones together and a couple monsters and make a little quest, but it's another thing to have like a quest worthy of karma and an ascension. Um, you got a point. Well, you know what I think they should do? Like long enough for that. You know what I think they should do? Once they revamp uh, the frat hippie war, mm-hmm. and they like replace it with something else, I think there should be a uh, flashback ascension. Just reset everything back to how it was. Because it's a lot of removed oh, content, it would be like nostalgic. You know like what I mean? go back to like go back to how crappy I don't the uh, hidden city that, was. Though. Yeah, go back to the original. Uh, I'm sure they could do the art. They could put the art back. Oh, that would be cool too. Uh, go back to how the tower was. But I don't know. I I would I would like to see that honestly. Yeah, because I think that's a lot of stuff that people would remember, and it's a lot of things that it just shows how far we've come. You know what I mean? I think they should have one zone that just stays the same. Like, like go back to... If you look at, like, 2004 era, like... Yeah. Like, the, like the, the... What it looked like then. It was a totally different quest or something. They should have a little way you can go back and play that. I think so. Well, that would be cool. Like, I, I wouldn't even do it seriously. It would just be like, oh, yeah, I remember how... I remember how the Mount Large McHugh quest was. Mm-hmm. That was cool. I mean, I remember you got the you got the cheese pizzas, you got the goat cheese pizzas, and then the way you just finished the quest was you went to the trapper, and he just you kind of went up there and you meditated, and that was it. <laughs> there was no roar. The I, yeah, I forget what I was gonna say now. I wanted to tell you. I wanted to say though, Chateau, the Chateau. Yeah, that's, go back. Yeah, go back. To I that. gotta tell you, it's powerful, man. I it's, know it is, but very... if I've gone without copying, I have enough free rest at my campsite. I can't to see get why by. the price wouldn't go up. Yeah, uh, and I, I, they took out 
they took out a large pool of the potions that you can get. Right. I don't know what they took out, the, but I'm, I'm willing to guess that's the Avatar ones. But the, no, they they're there. Those aren't. There. Those aren't good. Really, those aren't powerful for you know. They're just cosmetic, and it's annoying when you get them because you're like, I don't. You know, I have a monster. It's manual. not something that you can base a run off of. But yeah. if it was me getting that, if it was me getting the hotel room, I would have opted for the extra five adventures. I think it's three. Or is it five? I think it's five. And then I thought to myself, would I really pay ten bucks to get five extra adventures? No, I wouldn't. See, I get the I get the five free rests. Yeah, and, exactly, it stacks. And it's not really so much that it's free rests, but it's that you get stats with the free rests, yeah. which are crazy, man. I well, that's that's something else. I mean. Because it's like... It speeds up let, a lot of the early exploration. Let's say you're like level 2 and you get beaten up. You you could just rest or you could use a hot tub free rest. But if you go there and rest, it's like you gain a lot. Like, it's like, you gain a couple of levels. It's yeah. like as if you won that fight and two or three more. Like It's like a, it's like a nice amount of stats. I guess. that's. Um, well, I ran into the problem uh, when I was doing my Steel Clover runs of uh, I have no MP. Yeah. Literally, there's like no way to restore it if you're a uh, seal I, clubber. Yeah, that's true. Uh, turtle tamers have something. Pasta mancers always. Uh, they've got vermicelli. Saucer is no problem. Yeah. And like you run into that problem kind of with disco bandits and accordion thieves. But seal clubber's nothing, uh, unless you have your familiar doing that. And I have the golden monkey, so I'm not going to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was talking with someone. They're like, I "Oh, just go rest in your chateau." I'm like, "I don't have that." <laughs> I just use the Flores Fryer in in strategic zones to build my uh, as a seal clubber. I'll like put a I'll put the MP gaining plant somewhere where I know I'm gonna Sink spend a some lot of turns. Adventures. Yeah, and I would I'll have strategize to... my summoning around that. Like, I would do my that. MP using. I would do that, but I also remember I don't spend enough time in any zone to really warrant that. Yeah, so. I mean, eh, like like it depends though, and I'll I'll sometimes spend the. Like, I always end up with much more meat than I need, so I always just will buy it from Dr. Galactic. Yeah. If I need to summon, like... Because it's not like I'm using MP for very much. But that's what I realized. Um, the Confiscated Grimoire, mm-hmm. which a lot of people just kind of wrote off, wrote off as, like, some jokey items. It's right. like, okay, it's not really going to, like, fix your... Run. Like, I can see that. The cap gun is crap. There's uh, some good things. I mean, yeah. The, what, some of the potions the aren't that thing? great, the, but... The, the cassette. portable cassette player. That's probably the best thing. That's I awesome. And then the glow in the dark necklace. Yeah, that's good. I haven't. I haven't. You been get MP for that. so. That's like passive regen, and it's really awesome. Like I would pray for that. Yeah. But yeah, those two things. It's like I never realized how good, even just like those random items that don't really do anything. Like I never realized how good they were. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not going to use the plastic nunchuck or anything, but like, eh, I could, I could, de- I could get some use out of some other stuff. How do you feel uh, about the new tower, Have you, since you've been playing it a little more now? i got to be honest, I really miss uh, having familiars like be integral to that. Uh, well, now that I know what it's like, now that I can like buff it's, up... It sucks a little bit that we had to... That in the past, it was a it was priority. A well, well, that it was like, hey, I'm going to perm these familiar buffing yeah. skills... And I'll be set for this. And now it's not a thing anymore. And you're yeah, exactly. like, oh, great. <laughs> oh, crap. But well, now I really only use it for uh, some key moments. That's all. But, uh, yeah, well, now now it's also, like, brought up the question of, well, now there's completely obsolete areas. Like, a couple. You, there's no reason to go south of the border. Right. Literally none. I mean, the only thing that you could do is if you have a hot dog stand and you don't have the... Spicy dog yet, whatever the hell it was. Then I mean, you need that. If gun. you don't have can, sometimes if you want to get initiative, I don't know. I wouldn't go there in a in a speed run. Yeah, there's no all. reason for it. There's now. no real reason. I know they're trying to phase out pirates, but that's well, that's kind of been slowly going on. I think they're trying to just make you not dependent on them. I think they want it to be an alternate. No, yeah. well, it's like a fun thing. Uh, but I. I remember when they removed the familiar requirement, like, now it's the perfect time to be in Bad Moon. Yeah. Because now you don't have to worry about getting any other familiar if you want to do the Black Cat. That's true. I I think the tower's shorter. I feel, it is. It, it feels easier. Um, 
you can skip a lot if you have enough resistances, and it makes... I know some people were like, well, now there's no point in all these potions anymore, but there still is. There's still How many... is because now you gotta get now you gotta buff your ma- buff an offset. <coughs> you have to buff combat initiative, and you have to get enough. Of is a... it always combat initiative? Yeah, there's always combat I guess initiative. So. It's not bad. That's an easy thing to buff, though. And yeah, well, not enough to like skip a lot of it. You have to like get uh, a couple of ex- rare you things. You have to get a lot. But, but it also means uh, now you can use all of your potions for that. Now you got to use all of your potions that buff combat initiative. Now it's all the ones that give you uh, hot damage or something. Chateau. Shut up. <laughs> potions every day. I got... It's yeah, because gr- I really want to turn great, into... Man. I really want to change my avatar six different you, times. You can get... You can use it to get more adventures or more PvP adventures. More fights, I guess. Or you can use it to get the free rests, which is which is what you should be using it for. And then... On top of that, you get a monster that you can... Man, it's good. I'm not going to do it. It's like, I, I'm going to stick behind it. I've never been that much of a speed runner. It's like an ice house for copying. Like, you get it through ascensions. <laughs> Let's not go that far. Um, and, and you get three potions every day. Yeah, but those potions might be crap. They could, they, some it's a are. pretty big pool some of them potions. Are. I got... I got Cyclops Eye Drops uh, before I even spent a turn. Oh yeah, you told me about nice that. Nice zero potion. Cyclops Eye Drops, like hundred percent item F boost. You. I've gotten the uh, black paint before, which is nice. I. Oh, you, know, you saved yourself five thousand. Congrats! It's, it's, a, it's a, like a thousand meat or whatever, but I just used it for the. Uh, I know peak. some people are gonna. I know some people are gonna swear by it, but I'm just. I'm not that speed running enough to do it, and I've been managing so far. Yeah. That's all. I'm finishing stuff's my run gonna, in about the same time. Stuff's gonna go, man. You're gonna you're gonna lose the hot tub. No, actually, well, no. The hot tub was At like some point. No, you're not. No. No, you're not gonna lose the hot tub. The hot tub and the uh, claw oh, you're machine. Just part of it. Yeah, that was like initially uh, part of it. Okay. Although I gotta say, like uh, VIP room is looking a little yeah, bare now. Hell? I I miss having the that's, giant swimming pool. I think that's yeah. Although, I hate to say this, but mark my words, the next thing that goes in there has to be a spleen shop. And what are they going to do? You have it all lined up. You have the hot dog cart, are you they have the boost cart, and you need that. Are they going to that and just make it bigger? Well, they did before, so that's not entirely out of the question. I guess. Because they're not going to... I don't know. <laughs> spleen shop. It's got to be that. Spleen shop? Yeah, like, you, you, I don't know what you would use for, like, currency or something, because you already have meat and you already have, like, wads. Yeah. Meat wads. Uh, but there's got to be something in there. You go in there, you fill up something, maybe, like, once a day, maybe twice a day, and you, you fill up your spleen. Because if you have a spleen familiar like the monkey, there's three unused points there. Unless mm-hmm. you have a mojo filter, there's three. Mm. And I feel like that would be, like, the perfect way to fill it up. Smithereens. Mm, you can you can think of different stuff for that. Because once you the louder uh, than bombs, the golden lights. Once you fill all that up, if you don't, then you can't get that smithereens uh, buff. Yeah, I don't know, but there's other. I mean, I don't know. There's definitely potential, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. Uh, I'm excited for the new path that's coming out in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to initially enjoy it because I'm doing a contest, but hey, I'll. Uh, Wait and see how it is. Yeah. I'm going to launch into it. I'm going to get the, the gold star. The you know. early adopter. The, I'm gonna, oh, the gold star. I'm going to win All the, right. uh, Good friggin' luck, cannon the, fire. Yeah. I'm never going to get that. Good friggin' luck. Uh, I need a bunch of people to quit the game so I can become the best. Well, you could find where they live. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, though. You know, you never know. I could I could make some really good choices and, like, catch some lucky break and everybody else, like, makes just picks the other option and ends up with, like, a 10 turn penalty. Well, if you've been investing for a couple of years... If you've been investing in the past two years, then you got a, as good a shot as anyone else. Mm-hmm. That's all i got to say. Thank you, T69. You have saved the average player. Yeah. All right, well... Now, now it's time for all you uh, people holding on to old IOTMs to deeply discount them for me. Yeah, give me give me a couple of collector's things. Stop holding your Legion knife. There we go. <laughs> give me that. Stop holding your Travolton trousers. I need it. All mm. right, uh, but until then, I think we're done for now. I think our 30 minutes has been well past. Yes. I don't want to bore you guys anymore. I'm running out of material.
That sounds like it hurts. Oh, this feels good. Crack uh, your neck, crack your back. So I guess until next week, I'm Dean. And I'm Mike. And this has been Things We Like. <laughs> Working title. We'll keep it going. Uh, see you next week. See you next week. Listen to the main show if you haven't. <laughs>